How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily install WordPress. Now, there are a couple of ways to install WordPress. Uh, though, to install WordPress, you need to have a web hosting service and a domain name. And you can purchase them from WordPress hosting providers and domain registrars. Now, what I would recommend is Hostinger. And Hostinger is one of the best web hosting providers out there. It's very affordable, so I'm going to be using this one. And if you guys are interested in Hostinger, by the way, you'll find links to pricing, discounts, and a full review in the description down below. Now, again, there are two ways to install WordPress. The first way is by using the one-click auto installer, which literally just takes a few seconds if you're using a web hosting provider such as Hostinger. So the first method is by simply clicking the auto installer. It's a one-click installer. And once you're in the dashboard uh, right here with uh, Hostinger, for example, you're going to go to website and click auto installer. And once you're here, um, you're just going to click select WordPress right here. So we're just going to select it and you're going to put your website title and click next. And that's pretty much it. It's as simple as just clicking that button and it will install WordPress. Once it's installed, you can go to your WordPress dashboard and go ahead and click the edit website button. And here's the WordPress dashboard. So that's one way of installing it. And that's what I would recommend you do uh, if you're trying to install a WordPress. There's really no need for you to spend any time manually uh, installing WordPress. But if you're looking to install WordPress manually, just go ahead and click WordPress download right here and click the link and download the latest version of WordPress. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to have a file that looks like this. And of course, um, it will be in a zip file. So just extract everything onto a new folder. And then what you're going to do is take the whole folder, you're going to take everything and you're going to upload your website files from the extracted WordPress folder into your public HTML file using Hostinger's file manager or an FTP client like FileZilla if you're using an FTP client. And if you're using an FTP client, find the create a new FTP account section on your web hosting account control panel beforehand. Uh, so in this case, it'll be right here. Go to FTP accounts. And as you can tell right here, it recommends either uh, FileZilla or Smart FTP. But in this case, we don't need that. We're just going to go straight to the file manager with uh, Hostinger since I'm not going to be using an FTP client. And I'll click the first option right here. And you're going to grab your files. So open this right here. You're going to grab your file right here and just throw them all onto the uh, folder right here. And once they're there, we're just going to click off of this. We don't need this anymore. Obviously, everything is already set up for me here, but I'm just showing you guys how you can do this. And we're using the file manager of Hostinger. We're going to go straight to database. And this is how we're going to be able to proceed manually manually to install WordPress, we need to create a new MySQL credentials. So create a new MySQL database name, username and password. And after filling out all the necessary information, click the create button and make sure to copy the MySQL credentials complete with the alphanumeric string that you see right here, because you're going to need them later. Next up, we're going to have to configure the wp-config.php. And this is a configuration file that lets WordPress know your database server settings. And it's made specifically for you. So we're going to go back to file manager. We're going to access the files and we're going to go back to access the files right here. So we already have them. And after opening the public HTML folder, look out for this folder right here, which says wp-config-sample.php. And what you're going to do is simply rename this one to uh, what I'm going to put on the screen right here, which is wp-config.php. Now, because I've already had this set up beforehand, I already have this folder. And once you have it renamed, you'll click on it. You'll see the database settings right here. And you've got the database name, user and password. And you're going to place the database name, the username and the password with the MySQL credentials created earlier. And remember to include the alphanumeric strings. Now I have everything blurred right here, but when you open the file yourself, you'll know exactly where to put it. Once you're finished, click the save button and we're done here. And after that, all you have to do is type in your domain name in a browser to proceed to install WordPress manually. And of course, WordPress will ask you to select the language for your site, do so and press continue, fill in your website and administrator information, um, create a new site title for your WordPress site, set the WordPress username, password and your email 
email, which will be later used to log in to the uh, WordPress admin dashboard. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of that because I already have my WordPress website set up. Uh, so I can just go straight to my dashboard on Hostinger and click edit website and it will take me straight to the WordPress dashboard and I can get to editing my website and setting everything up. And this is how you can install WordPress. It's very easy, just follow the steps that I showed you. But again, I mean, what I would recommend is just use the auto installer with Hostinger. It's very simple, very easy to use. You don't have to do any of the stuff that I just did. Uh, and uh, you know, when setting up a WordPress website, I mean, anything that can save you time, get a bunch of plugins that make your life easier, take whatever shortcuts you can take to make your WordPress building experience a little bit more uh, smooth and easier. So if you guys are interested, by the way, in hosting or you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Hostinger. It's a very affordable web hosting provider and they offer a whole lot of benefits. And that's exactly why I like using it. And in case you're not satisfied with Hostinger for whatever reason, you can just ask for the refund through the 24 seven live chat support available right here. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.